absolutely unhinged, psychotic debate with far-right anti-FAP professor, okay? Now, keep in mind, thank you for the link. Perfect. Thank you, Comrade Zola. Deeply appreciate that. Um, so we're going to dive into this together. We're going to have a good time because I hear this is an absurd debate. It's been a while since we've gotten to do like a, a well, I mean, we did the maximalism stream, but this one is non-maximalist. It, it's just going to be awesome debate review. So before we start, this is going to be good. I've been told it's good. I haven't. This is a fresh react. I've never seen it. I don't even know outside of the topic what is discussed. So you all are in for a fresh react from me, okay? No. Debate analysis. We're not doing a react. We're doing debate analysis, everybody. You heard it here. Wait. Demon Mama analysis. Someone was talking about how channers are mad that their speakers keep getting BTFO'd. Yeah. It's because channers live in an echo chamber that's so tight that when they walk outside, they're genuinely convinced that the rest of the world is like 4chan. And they do things like go, <laughs> kick, <laughs> kick W, am I right? Except they do it with Chan memes instead of Twitch memes. Uh, and that's immoral. I was jerking off immoral. Okay. Whoa! He's got a new intro that's like a Pornhub kind of thing? What the fuck? That's sick! Funny as hell. I haven't even seen this new intro yet. That's that sick! Cool. Wow. Wouldn't it be sick if Vosh had a fucking <laughs> arc and just threw on fucking Morpheus color suits and fucking bombastic bullshit? Wouldn't that be fucking incredible? Wah, wah, wah. Oh! Oh, we got a maybe from, from Vosh! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck, it's happening! It has been written! Yeah! Here we go. It's happening. That's not a maybe. That maybe has spelled a future that now must exist that people are enticed by. Posadas John says, a gas leak in a house full of trans femmes causing us all to see the future. Just like ancient Greece. <laughs> Fucking true! <laughs> Fucking true! Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. I can tell this is gonna be fun. Let's fucking do it. See this. if Vosh said that joke, he'd get canceled. This isn't fair. That is not true. Okay, Verm okay, yes, actually that is true. Vermin, you're right that everyone would cancel Vosh except for us. The people who are the subject of a of an excellent ass joke like that would not cancel Vosh. Everybody else would. But the people who matter would not. The main characters, so to say. You know, not the mindless, faceless NPC hordes of Twitter posters. Sorry, let's try this again. Ideally. Uh, so to begin uh, that discussion, I'd like to talk about an incident that I've talked about before uh, in March of 2002. Okay. March of the 2002. The Israeli uh, Defense Force Israeli defense invaded force. Ramallah, right. part of the okay. intifada that was going on at that time, and uh, took over the city. Uh, which was normal, and then they did something that was a little bit out of the ordinary. They took over the TV stations, and after they took over the TV stations, they started broadcasting pornography. Now, uh, this uh, was the only way <clears throat> that the Palestinians... Based? Is that based or unbased? They're trying to control the Palestinians, and pornography is a form of control, a sophisticated form of control. There we go. All right, everybody. We're good now. We've now warned everyone that there is a brain darkening cognito hazard in the room. Uh, everybody is prepared. How, where, how can we explain this? Well, we can't explain it from contemporary sources. We have to go back farther, uh, actually back to Gaza, uh, 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 back to the Bible. There's an account in the Bible of Samson. Samson was the mightiest warrior that Israel had at that time. No one could defeat him in battle, but he had a weakness, and his weakness was lust. I don't actually, is that actually true? Was it lust? I don't think that, I don't think that Samson's problem was actually lust. I thought the problem for Samson was actually love. That he put his love for Delilah, right? Uh, Delilah above God. Yeah, he loved and trusted Delilah. It wasn't about lust. The story, the, the condemnation of lust in the Bible was David, primarily. 
because David lusted after Bathsheba and literally killed her, her husband over it. You all were correct. Vermin especially, you were correct. This is right up my alley because this guy's a, a, a Christian whack job and an anti-porn Christian whack job and those guys I've been dealing with my entire goddamn life. My brain is so full of of, of fucking Christian uh, nonsense memes. All right, I am. It, it's time. You've called in the expert. You all thought that this little this silly green uh, uh, cargo thing that I'm wearing right now was a part of my big boss setup in the beginning? No, it's because we're going on a safari and I'm going to teach you all the little Christian nonsense that's going to be dropped in here and try to make sense of it. But apparently this guy doesn't even know the Christian stuff. Agent Delilah to seduce him and Samson ended up eyeless in Gaza, grinding at the mill with slaves. That's John Milton's term for him. Eyeless in Gaza grinding at the mill the slaves because after she cut off uh, his hair, Delilah gouged out his eyes. Now, there is a profound truth in this image, a profound truth in this biblical story. You misinterpreted the story. You missed the profound truth. You're misquoting the profound truth, which the profound truth of of the Samson story is that God can, can you should put faith in God first and you should put God but if you make oh, okay oh my god there's so much okay what what the fuck Samson belonged to a special class of people who when they're young make a vow to put God before everything okay not a priest but basically took a vow he he wasn't supposed to cut his hair he wasn't supposed to like uh, 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 style his beard. It's like a basically, it's kind of like being a, a Nazarite. Nazarite, thank you. So he was a Nazarite. And the, the, the story of Samson is not about lust. It's about him being genuinely in love with Delilah, but he was a Nazarite who was supposed to put God first. And he didn't. He didn't keep his promises. He placed his trust in a human. He traced, He placed his love in a human instead of God. That's the story of Samson. And, Sam, and, and the story of Samson at the end of it is that God said, you have to die for what you did and look at the situation you got yourself in. But here, I'll let you have your ma massive strength back so that you can fuck up my enemies one more time and see that I'm not a complete asshole. That's, that's the actual story of Samson. Jesus Christ. This guy doesn't even know what he's doing. We're like what? We're like four minutes in and I'm already doing a fucking sermon? Oh, God. Th this is the literally the masturbation will make you blind? That's a different thing. Oh, no, he's mushing it all together. Wait, masturbation making you blind is a different myth. It's not the same myth. Let's continue. Broadcast pornography. They did it because a blind enemy is an enemy that's easily conquered. If the oh. Palestinians could be focused on their passions as opposed to their oppression, they would be easily uh, ruled, uh, easily conquered and easily ruled. So as of 2019, you had an entire generation, uh, the generation of the 20 year olds and the 30 year olds that had been basically raised on pornography and they realized that they were slaves. They realize it. They knew it. They knew there was oh, something no. wrong. And so they organized something called NoFap November, uh, which was basically. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Is this man a victim of elder abuse? I feel like a 90 year old man saying NoFap is like a, 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 a red flag for elder abuse. But I did have, I think, something to do with it because I had written a book uh, 25 years before that time uh, called Libido Dominandi uh, Sexual... <laughs> Hold on a second. I got to look this up. How is it? Let's see. Ooh, it's rated very highly, I will say. My goodness. He certainly purchased a lot of reviews for it. 
Oh, here we go. This, without a doubt, is one of the most important and insightful books I have ever read. Please note that what follows is a very unorthodox, politically incorrect to the extreme and personal reflection. Oh boy, here we go, everybody. Read at your own risk. You're free to disagree, but do not try to correct any misconceptions you might possibly detect and respect my right to hold a different opinion. Oh boy. Oh boy, everyone. We have something to dig into. This is why, this is why we do the debate reviews, because we have the freedom, not constrained by the timeline of debate, to go look at this madness. If you want to understand the key method of control that has been used against the populations of the West since the Enlightenment, you need to read this book. We have today a horribly corrupted notion of freedom, one that is endorsed to the greatest extent by our cultural guardians, politicians and those who stand behind them pulling the strings. They see freedom as the ability to attempt to gratify every urge, slake every- Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. We're starting this over. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, everyone. Wait a minute. I've got the right thing. If you want to understand the key method of control that has been used against the populations of the West since the Enlightenment, you need to read this book. We have today a horribly corrupted notion of freedom. One that is endorsed to the greatest extent by our cultural guardians, politicians, and those who stand behind them, pulling the strings. They see freedom as the ability to attempt to gratify every urge, slake every thirst, and consummate every passion we humans are prey to. That is held up as a community good, indeed something worth fighting and dying for. I use the word prey on purpose. Because that is what practitioners of this form of freedom ultimately are. Once you wipe away the righteous post-enlightenment rhetoric, they're not driven to commit these acts because that's what freedom is. They're compelled to do them because, like any form of personal compulsion, they're addicted to the short-term happiness they derive from it. The main thesis of libido dominandi is that your passions are, to those in power, like the reins on a horse or a leash around a dog's neck. Wow, that's fucking, that's fucking hot. Whew. It is the means by which you are controlled. It is the leverage by which you are kept compliant to your goddess. You are, to use the ancient terminology, enthralled to your sins, enslaved. They are your masters. You answer their sweet call whenever you can. And all the while you think you're in charge. In short, the male sexual drive was weaponized. If you would be free men, wrote St. Augustine of Hippo, be moral. You only have as many masters as you have vices. Why does it make it sound so hot? Silence! Who asked you to speak? Did your goddess ask you to speak? No. No! I did not! Then be silent. <laughs> libido dominandi. The libido that dominates. You thought you were reading an unhinged review, but no. You were witnessing the founding of a new religion. The birth of a new goddess. And if you wish to be faithful and see the gates of libido heaven, then you must subscribe to Demon Mama for the low, low cost of $5 a month. Or, if you really want to be faithful, you could bump up to a tier 4 sub. Libido dominandi, I'm in. Okay, that was sick, okay? This is indeed... Vermin, I owe you a big one for this one. Okay, Vermin? Every Christian is a bottom? True, definitionally. Every Christian is a bottom because the church is the bride of God. And in Christian belief, the man, the patriarchal figure, does indeed dominate, literally, explicitly dominate, the feminine role. The feminine role is to be submissive, and the church is the wife of God. 
do you see why I was literally cho I, I was literally chosen by me, the goddess, me, this is my corporeal form, was chosen to review this debate for this exact purpose so that I can enlighten you on all of the random Bible trivia that you definitely do not need to know, but nonetheless will thank me for teaching you. Let's go. ...liberation and political control. And I realized that with the internet now, I could get on and simply say, sexual liberation is a form of political control, and people would understand what I'm talking about because they were living it. That was the experience that they had lived. They were living that experience right now. They knew they were slaves to their own passions. They knew that their whole generation had been, in a sense, sidelined by pornography and student loan debt. What? And that they couldn't form what? their lie. They couldn't. One of these things is not like the other. Porn. Crushing student loan debt. Hmm. I wonder which one of those might damage your chances in life the most. We can't know, I guess. I guess we can't know. I guess we can't know whether it's the videos of naked people on the internet. Whoops. Or whether it's the loan that can literally be collected even if you're bankrupt. One of the only types of loans that you can actually have your wages fully garnished for and that you can go to jail for. I wonder which one it is. I wonder if it's the naked people on the internet or the loan that you can literally go to jail over. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of weird, huh? Good, a weird question, right? Makes you think. Makes you do a big hmm. Start their lives. I mean, by starting your life, I mean starting your life as an adult, which meant getting married and having children. And so the protest broke out. The it, it got uh, uh, got some publicity, and at this point, Rolling Stone got a hold of it, and they did an article on this, and they said that these people were basically anti-Semites. The ultimate. Uh, uh, the ultimate. What? insult the ultimate uh, uh, conversation stopper that's where it stopped in 2019 it's been superseded uh by other things like the covid pandemic and all the other type of stuff oh yeah yeah by the way um if anybody calls uh, anti-semitism like the ultimate conversation stopper um you you should probably recognize that person is almost guaranteed to be a nazi like first of all any, of course, any sort of identity politics can stop a conversation depending on the context. But if somebody, that line, that specific line saying that, oh, anti-Semitism is how you get it so you can't talk about the thing, the, the real truth, that is a, that is a explicit Nazi dog whistle. Just so you, just so we all know. All those of us who've had to deal with lots and lots of Nazis, you hear this every single time. He's a tradcath. The difference between tradcath and Nazis is spelling unironically yep but it hasn't gone away and it's not going to go away because it's being used to cripple this generation and the only way they're going to wake uh i get break out of that bondage is by understand what happened to them you bet oh, thank wow. you very much dr jones for that opening <laughs> you bet thank you <laughs> I, I okay listen i'm sorry but i fucking love uh modern day debates how there will be the most unhinged opening statement ever that goes wow fascinating thank you james is just wow fantastic thank you very much for that this guy just goes off on a tear about how the jews are are shooting porn rays into everybody's brains and he's just like wow fascinating thank you next this is a quote from one of the reviews. Yoga pants were a form of brainwashing used to keep men in thrall to the established order. And after reading Libido Dominandi by Michael E. Jones, I feel my conspiratorial views have been vindicated. Oh, no. Bad sign. My conspiratorial views are being vindicated. Here's the secret. All conspiratorial views will always be vindicated. That's why they're conspiratorial views. Here we learn about the various sexual revolutions put forth by horny bobo hipsters. Jones' theory is that free love is merely another form of bondage. Hot. Albeit one that keeps the population happily oppressed and unable to feel their chains. Holy fuck. But bonobos are great. Did you know? Fun animal fact. 
Fun animal fact. Did you know that bonobos greet each other by jerking each other's dicks off? <laughs> I'm not kidding you. That's real. They don't, they're like the least aggressive type of simians. And they straight up, they're just like, hey buddy, and they yank each other's cocks. I'm not kidding you. That's real. Instead of like, instead of fighting or shouting at each other, they give each other massages, they yank each other's dicks. They finger blast each other to say hi. Unironically, they do. They fuck all the time. And they're basically all gay. Every single one of them is, is pansexual. They all fuck each other all the time. It's sick as fuck. Bonobos know where it's at, okay? They're matriarchal and the lead women all eat each other out. Yup. Absolutely fucking sick. Bonobos are amazing, unironically. How perfect that the that, that, that bonobos came up by such strange uh, coincidence. Um, I was ready for a few approaches. Not that one, though. Uh, so a couple of pointers here. Whenever you're discussing whether or not something is harmful, you have to compare Wait, 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 hold on. I'm sorry, I gotta correct somebody in chat already. It can't be shut the fuck up Friday if there is no more Friday. That just means it's always shut the fuck up Friday. Because it should always be shut the fuck up Friday. Harm done to the harm done through its absence. Uh, and a society without porn, if one were to somehow legislate that, would require a unprecedented degree of censorship yeah, true, Vermin, on essentially true. every level of media production that would be incomparably harmful compared to any imaginable <laughs> downside of allowing for its existence now. Uh, that's like the, the boring, rational, utilitarian argument. Uh, let's go over the fun things that you said. Uh, I think the IDF broadcasted porn because they considered it disrespectful to broadcast it to a bunch of Muslims. Uh, I think they could have broadcasted Britney Obviously. Spears, and Obviously. it probably would have also done basically the same thing. I don't yep. really think it was about it enslavement. Would've. I just think it was about something putting something obscene up there. I mean, they could have just like sworn a bunch in, you know, in, 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 and, and that would have had, I think, the same effect. Um, and with regards to sexual liberation equals political control, uh, no. Essentially, every single sexual and gender minority. Wait for real. Blablato says mild spoiler, but it's not. It's not an important spoiler. Nick Fuentes rated Modern Day Debates YouTube chat, so the Q and A is going to be a massive treat. Oh my god. Oh my god. The gift. The gift. You all have been given a gift. Pretty in history. Uh, has found that sexual liberation equals the opposite of political control. After all, if that was really the case, you would see that all these repressive regimes that are homophobic or dislike lesbian people or trans people or whatever would allow them full expression of their sexual desires because then they would be able to control them through that. Obviously, that's not what happened. Homophobic societies repress homosexual tendencies, not the opposite. Transphobic societies repress trans uh, tendencies, not the opposite. The idea that being sexually liberated means you're more susceptible to control. I have true, to go on the offense here. How exactly? Uh, you can go online and see tits. I fail to see how this makes me more complacent with regards to state control. If anything, it seems like the people most averse to internet pornography are the ones most doggedly in favor of government authoritarianism. Because there's definitely a pretty heavy overlap between authoritarianism and social conservatism. So mm -hmm. I, I guess I don't know. You convince True. me as one of these 20 to 30 year olds whose life is ruled by porn. I mean, proselytize. How, why? What harm is done? If I were to uh, legislate, what 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 could you, what could you say to me to convince me of the necessity of purging all media of I don't even know how you draw the line of what pornography is but you know we're talking about a huge undertaking here I, I mean I could ramble about how pornography is fun but yeah you know, we all know that that's kind of intuitively sensible uh, you need to convince me though why uh, anecdotes about Samson uh, aren't uh, going to do it. I think people just do No Nut November because it's fun to see if you can. You know, that's not even a porn thing. No Nut November, even if porn didn't exist, would be rough. You know, it's not like people only started jerking off when porn happened. That's, that's you know, they were probably doing their Roman, you know, No Nut Novemberuses, uh, ye back in the day. <laughs> no Nut Novemberuses. What the? That is such a shitty joke, but I love it. Anyway, that's all I have to say. <laughs> so dumb. Uh so it's my job to convince you. Um, I, I probably can't do that. 
uh, because oh. your mind Whoopsies. is so darkened by watching porn that you can't understand the rational <laughs> argument. Oh. But but the point here is, no. <laughs> I will not be able to convince you because the porn has already destroyed your mind. But I might be able to save some of the undarkened minds in your audience. Uh, everyone, we will discover. Perhaps none of us. Perhaps because our minds are so darkened by porn, what we are watching right now is not the true version of what happened. We see the uh, we see the 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 bold and and confident Vosh debating the shrunken raisin of a man in the corner, uh, unhingedly shouting about how the IDF pumped porn into his window. Um, and, but what's actually happening is the reverse. Because our brains have been darkened by porn, it's like having 3D glasses on, you know? You look at it and it changes what you're seeing. That's the truth. We all see, exactly, we see through a glass darkly. And that glass it has a Vosh boostinating effect and a, what's this guy's name? Porn guy, anti-fat professor uh, dampening ray. In truth, he is not an old raisin. He is a strong, virile chad, not a... Uh, a guy who looks like, like fucking John Kerry, if John Kerry fucked Mr. Rogers, and then Mr. Rogers gave birth to a child, and then put that child, like, raised that child on episodes of Care Bears for his entire life. He looks like, he looks like John Kerry and Mr. Rogers' love child, who has been made the softest man alive, but somehow is still a Nazi. You know, ye back in the day, humans were all walking around naked anyway, right? I mean, wh where does the harm come no. in? No, and people never walked around naked. Uh, Didn't Adam but, and Eve? But, but the, point, the point here is that yeah, there Adam and Eve, was Adam and Eve literally, which... canonically in the Bible, walked around naked. So did many of their descendants. They only became aware of their nakedness after they ate um, the tree. And even then, they didn't do anything about it immediately. They dressed up in the fig leaves, and then they proceeded to go out and live in basically fig leaves for a while. This guy's so stupid. You, this this uh, guy doesn't even know the Bible. This is the problem with these guys. Uh, the queers and the Jews together used Hollywood to survive. And now I am broadcasting to you now thanks to that agenda. So if you believe in the vision that our forefathers... The queer Jews in Hollywood put, if you believe in the vision that they put forward of a queer Jewish America, you will continue fighting for freedom of expression because I believe in it. Uh, it, it yeah, if we're following through, the purpose of hearing is to listen to people near you. So headphones are a corruption of that rational process. Your skin clothes you. So wearing clothes is a corruption no, of that. Well, hold on, Mr. Jones. Is a corruption Ooh, of that natural Ooh, Mr. Process. Jones, rolling that I have no doubt out. at your ripe old age that you've benefited from some matter of medical technology, which is, again, a corruption of humans' natural process. See, if we want to do this, if we want to go back to natural processes, Ooh. I would be the young, strong hunter-gatherer, and you would be dead because you're twice my age. Or, or at the same time. How many times, how many times have you been sucking your partner's cock while jerking off your own cock? You can do both at the same time. That was empirical proof that people were unhappy with this whole regimen of pornography and but masturbation. I did no Fat which November. Had, which oh, oh, the trap card. Holy shit. Vosh did no Fat November? Vosh did no Fat November? Are you kidding me? Are you for real? Vosh did no Fat November? Is that the truth? Vosh, you did no fap November? You did not fap for an entire November? Which November? How hard was it? Did you have an enormous come afterwards? Did you get the horse stick you so desired? Was the stress from your blue balls enough to expand your cock out into the, into the meaty tube-like vessel you wish it was? Answer me! 2013. Okay, all right. You're in the clear then. Never mind. Never mind. You're in the clear. 2013. You're fine. Oh, that's the worst. That means you did it for your own, for your own reasons. This one coming in from Camille Chow Chowie says, "Ask why Dr. Jones accepted this debate topic 
and ask if Vosh will debate Nick Fuentes. So uh, we'll give you Dr. Jones if you want to go first on the topic. Uh, because I think it's an important issue. And then Bosch on whether or not you'll debate. It's just Nick true. Fuentes. It's been two years. I've just said email me. It's no. It's this is just. It, it, listen. If it, it, the, the at the end of the day, like what you want is he calls in. He calls me like fat. And then I say virgin, and then we both hang up, okay? It's really boring, all right? At I this love point, it. this isn't I love even it, about Gumball. your positions. It's literally just about, like, s some inevitable chemical reaction you're looking for. This is like watching paint dry. It's been two years. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Nothing has happened. Nothing ever will happen. Now he's banned from everything, too. It's just boring now. Holy Christ. This one, this one, this one, actually, the, uh, the point here is it has to do with the sexual act, the logic of the sexual act. And rape is actual sexual intercourse. And so it would be less removed from nature than masturbation, which is not natural intercourse, and not, but not as far removed as uh, sodomy, which is a, a violation of the, the nature of the sexual act. I think you, that's where that guy's coming from. You know what else, is a, you know what else is a violation of the natural order? Concept of debate. Uh, Jones, do you want to just put him up sometime? We can go boxing. Uh, I can pulverize your skeleton. Like, what are you talking about? Like, what, what like, like, what was adherence to the national order? You know that, like, back in the good old days, we would just hit each other with rocks, right? And I guarantee you, I can lift a bigger one than you. This, this deference, and it's always the weakest people who defer to it. By the way, the only reason that you weren't cast out from the tribe and left to be eaten by wolves for your degenerate anti-Semitism is because modern civilization coddles you like the infant that you are. The idea that you of all people would be relying on on this, oh well, rape is more. No, it's rape true. is yeah, more you're anything right. than that's anything. your comment on debate. Got a bigger rock than you, Jones. This one coming in from Jay Grimes says, Dr. Jones, what <laughs> does view of sexual liberation mean Bigger for rock LGBT than you, buddy. Rights? What? Well, first of all, uh, I only consume uh, furry pornography drawn by poor college students, so I don't know what you mean by oligarchs. Uh, exploitation of women, same point addressed. What are you What are you talking about? You realize that from a Marxist <laughs> perspective, every single industry is exploitative, Zing! right? Like, a Marxist would be the worst person from, to talk just about. Just call me Oscar. Says, See you later, Rumi, Would you prefer to forbid porn at the federal level or reverse the 14th Amendment and allow the states to decide? Uh, if you make me king of the United States, I will make I will make that decision. No, I think that the the laws should be uh, they're up. If you make me the king of the United States, porn will be punishable by death. <laughs> Is this really where we're at? Is this where we're at? Okay, I hope you all just recognize that it is currently January fourteenth. We are only 14 days into 2022, and this is what we've all become exposed to. I hope you acknowledge, I hope you recognize that this isn't even the beginning. 2022, by the end of this year, you will you will go and watch like David Cronenberg films and be like, oh wow, that looks like a fucking vacation. That's the that's the trajectory that we're on. I just hope you know. I paused during a great dunk. Okay, all right, I'll finish the dunk. All I don't right, know what I'll you mean by moral context? Sex is, we know is, that. We know that. I know, but you don't either because you failed utterly to explain it, and Christ is frowning on you from his cloud. Uh, <laughs> look, sex is a mechanical <laughs> okay, true. act. Okay. Can we read his ADL report? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I look. Oh, hey, cool. Vosh is going over the ADL report. That means I don't have to. <laughs> The position that Jones articulates about Judaism is one that does not enjoy support of the Catholic Church. His views are considered to be extreme even in the staunchly traditionalist church circles of the Catholic Church. Many Catholics have denounced Jones' bigoted rhetoric and exploitation of Catholic teachings for his own purposes. Responding to his participation on a panel in Prague in September 2006, Cardinal Miloslav, Miloslav v Vilk, Vilk, Archbishop of Prague, released a statement criticizing Jones for his outreach to political extremists, Lefevrevites, Lefevre nationalists and anti-Semites, Islamists, Islamists, and neo-Nazis. Dude, this guy got fucking his ass clapped by the fucking Archbishop of Prague. Guys, an Archbishop is a huge fucking position. Getting, if you're a Catholic and you get your ass slapped by the fucking Archbishop of Prague, you, 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 You've 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 made God angry by your own viewpoint. Extremist affiliations. In his writings, Jones takes pains to clarify that his views on Jews are definitely not based on racial theories and that he's an anti-Jewish but not anti-Semitic. Wait, what? 
<laughs> Nevertheless, he courts individuals on the extremist fringe of American society whose racism, anti-Semitism, and xenophobia is unmistakable. Jones' book, The Jewish Revolutionary Spirit, cites bigoted sources such as the Holocaust denier Michael Hoffman and anti-Semitic ideologue Professor Kevin McDonald. To market the Jewish revolutionary spirit, Jones also sought the support of extremist conspiracy theorists, radio and television hosts such as Hisham Talawi, Henry Macau, and Peter Sh Schenk. Alex Le Linder featured the book on his virulently racist, homophobic, and anti-Semitic internet radio program, Radio Istina. The radio program is broadcast on Linder's Vanguard News Network. Oh, yeah, Vanguard News Network, the white supremacist website whose slogan is No Jews, Just Right. In incredible. Definitely not an anti-Semite, though. Definitely not an anti-Semite, though. Bruh. Turbo Nazi. Girls fucking hate Nazis. There's like five women on the planet who say that they're like, oh, I get so horny. But then the truth is they'll never actually be with a Nazi. They'll go to like a, they'll go and like hire a gigolo to dress up as a Nazi. They might fuck some random Nazi on the internet and then block him on every platform. They'll never be with a Nazi. And the reason for that is because Nazis fucking suck. There's nothing good about you people at all oh welcome back vosh uh, we just got to the end where we were talking about how uh nazis are categorically unfuckable and that no woman will ever be with a nazi uh even the ones who fetishize nazi nazis they'll just like fuck some rando on the internet one time maybe and then block him forever and they or otherwise pay a gigolo to dress up as a nazi and then fuck them and then they'll have some other boyfriend that's not a Nazi because Nazis fucking suck all of them every last one of them uh we've been having a hell of a time with your with your video we just ended it the no fat professor uh honestly didn't stand a chance